It's been actually a really, really quite easy transition for me, which I thought that I was going to struggle with just in terms of like time management and stuff, but the club have made it really, really easy and been quite flexible when I need to be. Um, but I've really enjoyed it, I think, for obviously like nine months and stuff like that, when you're just like at home, just being mum, it's been so nice to be back and like like do a little bit for me again. So, And I think it's like makes me a better mum at the same time as well, because when I go home, I could just be completely there for Ines as well. So like, yeah, it's been nice to have that little balance, a bit, again, like a bit of work-life um, balance. So yeah, it's been great to be back. Obviously, we've been able to sort of like childcare and stuff, but I think like on the days that maybe we struggle, then I think like the club are going to be quite open to that. But no, like it's just it's been like really, really good and easy. Like I said, um, yeah, the club have been really, really helpful when when they need to be and stuff. So it's been enjoyable so far. The milk supply like situation have kind of dropped. Obviously, when I've increased my my training load and volume and stuff in that as well. And obviously, I'm not feeding the nurse right now because she's at nursery, but just trying to keep up with that demand. But um, it's kind of settled. I can't take as much milk in the next day as what I was hoping for, but now she's on like solid food and stuff. Like the little guzzler makes up for it when I get back, so it's been fine. I just really need to eat so much more food than I ever thought it would be, which no lot of people would complain about, but it is really difficult to try and get all the calories in it. You actually do, so we just need to find like different ways, whether it's like a protein bar, um, like snacks and stuff as well. Like when she's having her tea, then I'll have a wee bit of some in, then I'll eat later on again, then have to eat again before I go to bed, so. Yeah, it's just trying to make sure like I'm getting enough calories in for training and obviously the demands of breastfeeding. You just need to be like so organised, like I'll wake up at like half past six, get myself sorted, wake us up, get her sorted, we leave her to drop her off at training, drive to training, be here, then like leave to get back for four o'clock to pick us back up from training and then we just get in, it's her tea time, it's bed and bath time, then I probably didn't sit down to have my own dinner until about seven o'clock at night, then it's basically bed for me, then back up the next day, so it's not so bad now that she's sleeping a lot better like during the night, like if I was still doing this and she was up two or three times a night then I would be struggling, but it's definitely been a lot easier than I thought it would have been. Hopefully like it inspires other girls to know that it's actually possible to do it, like it is, you can manage being like full-time professional and a mum, so hopefully like, like somebody might be see me coming back and think, oh, do you know, that looks amazing and that's a good idea, so yeah, hopefully like there's more of us to follow.